God. Be magnified, Lord Jesus. Father, there is none like you, Lord God. And we thank you right now, Lord God, that you have graced us with this moment. You've graced us with this opportunity, Lord God. That we may come together, Lord God, for the purpose of being edified, being restored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you may be, hallelujah, all in all for every one of us. Hallelujah. Oh glory to your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all, it's a blessing to be here on tonight. Hallelujah. It's really a blessing. Hallelujah. Every one of you. Man, I, I love this family so much. I love this family so much. Hallelujah. We've been neighbors now for some years. So, Apostle, thank you so much, man of God, for just everything that you've been. And woman of God, Apostle, thank you so much for just having me here. And to all of you, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, man, it's, it's good to be here in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all, before y'all take your seats, I just want to thank God that I, I used to be thinking about stuff like this when I was coming up. And when God puts people in your life, hallelujah, that do more than just preach to you, but they demonstrate the word of the Lord. Yes, sir. You. Hallelujah. And God has literally given me some people that I gleaned from for so many years, and I used to always wonder, you know, would anybody ever look at me the way I look at my mentors and spiritual parents? And these young men, y'all, that God has, has sent unto us sons. Hallelujah. Minister Mawamba, Minister Terrence, Brother Malule, man, to have them here with us is, is so powerful, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I wish I could have a moment just to let you all hear just a couple of things that will come from the mouths of these, these youth, for real. Um, there is something I believe that I can share for a moment, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I just thank you right now. We solicit your presence right now, Lord God. To you be all the glory, all the honor. And all the praise, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you would, turn with me to the book of 2 Corinthians. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians. The 13th chapter. Hallelujah. I'm always talking with someone about the word of the Lord and today I was talking to my son Minister T and some of the things that we were sharing it really just caused this to, to just explode on the inside of me Last night we had Bible study and um, I actually, uh, I'm an educator also. I'm a school teacher. I teach high school art. And half of the people that's in our ministry are people that was once students in my class. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm gonna drop. I'm probably just gonna have to just cut it off because <laughs> it's, it's so much stuff I can talk about. But um, I started. Uh, I became a sponsor of FCA Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Fellowship of Christian Students, and I found out that with these organizations, it's supposed to be student-led, student-ran. But how can a student 
run an organization about the gospel if they haven't been taught. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Right. So I realized that it was a blessing to have the organization housed on the campus. But if no one is taught, no one is able to lead, that means you need a, a guinea pig, you need a scapegoat. <laughs> You need somebody that's going to take a chance. And I remember after football practice, I started Apostle ordering pizza and, and just putting on some Christian rap that sounded really good. All just so I could have about 10 minutes just to speak the word of the Lord to him. Amen. And one of the young men that that attached so quickly, I found out that he was in foster care oh my God. and had been in foster care since he was four years old. Wow. And he began to cling to me in such a way, I was like, man, I gotta get this dude to meet my wife. And I felt like, man, I think he might be supposed to be our child. Oh, wow. He was like 17 years old. And by the time he graduated, from Thurgood Marshall High School, we showed up at the graduation and followed him to the foster home and took all of his clothes and moved him right on in our house with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today he just relocated back to Houston, just got accepted to the police academy, but he's already a master's, he has a master's degree in architecture. He was living in Arkansas as an architect, and he said this was something that he always wanted to do was to be a police officer. Wow. And now he's living in Houston right now, and he's going through the academy. Had he not been going through all that grueling work, he probably would be here tonight also. But I moved to a different school, and two of the three young men here were from that school. And, and, and why am I taking my time saying this type of stuff? Because, because what's happening, y'all, is the gospel has taken so many hits. And there's so many people that's believing that the word of the Lord is not real. And it's amazing that I can meet these young sons actually from Africa. And we have so many people talking about they want to go back to the native roots and they want to worship what they believe they worshiped in Africa. I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you, this is what this is what's being said. And they want to do so many different things that they have no clue. All right. Have no clue. Because when I begin to go to Africa and I remember hearing someone on the plane that told me, he said, one of the words you're going to always want to say, Pastor, he told me my first, my first word in Luganda, and it's Mukama Yebazibwe. And he said, you're going to hear that a whole lot. And that's praise the Lord, Luganda. All right. So every chance I got, Mukama Yebazibwe. Hallelujah. 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 You realize I'm hearing Yesu Malunji. And, yeah. and, and, and I need y'all to understand that this gospel that you all are carrying, the scripture says, this gospel shall be preached to every nation, every people group. Yes, and in order for you to understand, yo, you gotta, you gotta be vested. You gotta really know what you believe, and you gotta be able to say, this word can't just work just in Missouri City. It's got, this word gotta work even when I go to Uganda. This word gotta work if I'm dealing with people dealing with drugs. This word gotta work no matter what it is. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The God will put on the inside of you yes, sir. that you would only know until you really commit your life. Hallelujah! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Why am I saying this? Because as a teacher, I know what it means to examine students. Uh -huh. When it's time to get tested, the teacher can't give you any notes at that time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The teacher can't tell you, turn at this place right now and, and let me write it back on the board again for you. Know what? This you supposed to know. Yes, yes sir. sir. And there's certain things that we're not going to hear. There's certain times where it seems like God becomes so silent. 
And I'm convinced it's because he's already given us the instruction. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it comes a time that you gotta be able to walk it out and carry it. Yes. Oh, the scripture says in the book of Malachi, prove me now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See if what I told you is true. Hallelujah. Scripture said that the apostles came back saying, Lord, uh, you told us we would have yes, power. Sir. Hallelujah. You told Hallelujah. us we would cast out. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. You told us we would heal the sick. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is there anybody here that believes in Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord God. Because I want y'all to know the scripture says, I'm not sending you to a people that don't understand what you're saying. I'm not. He said, if I sent you to a people that spoke a different language, they would understand you yeah. before the ones that speak your language. Oh, wow. But be strong yeah. and of a good courage. Hallelujah. He told Ezekiel, he said, I made your head hard just like their head is hard. Hallelujah. People going to try to come at you and, and to deter you from walking in the things of God. To yes. so try to strip away from you what God gave you. Yes. Yes can't be taken in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 13. Hallelujah. Verse number 4. 2 Corinthians 13 and 4. And Apostle, just stand up, man, if I get to that time where I need to stop. Man. For real, for real, talk, for real. <laughs> Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 13, verse number 4. Scripture says, for though he was crucified through weakness, I need every one of you to know that whenever you go through a breaking, yeah. you're going to have to take on the appearance as if you were weak. Oh, oh, Hallelujah. Wow. The challenges you go through, yeah. you're going to have to go through it as if you can't fight back. Oh, yeah. As if you don't even know how to fight back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, this is why you got to be delivered from worrying about what people are going to think about you. Yes. You got to be able to see past the cross. Hallelujah. Yes. You got to be able to see. I'm telling y'all, there's a glory yes. that God wants to rest upon his people. Yes. Has God forgotten about his people? You got Kyrie Irving on national television talking about he found out he know who he is. Mm. Most black people don't even know that there's a place in Nigeria, in Nigeria, back yes, in the sir. 1700s. Go yes, look sir. it up. Yes, sir. It was referred to as Negro Land. Oh, yes. Oh Before it was called Nigeria. Look it up. Google it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Negro Land. Yeah. And guess what? This is the place oh, that housed all 12 tribes of Israel. Oh, Hallelujah. And guess what? The tribe that was at the southern coast, there was the Grain Coast. The Gold Coast, then there's the Slave Trade Coast, uh, 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 right near Ghana. And if you look on this map, out of all 12 tribes, guess which one was closest to the Slave Trade Coast? Yes. Judah. Uh, 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 Weedah, that's what they call them. And guess what? It's proven. Guess who are the tribe of Judah? They've been sent to America, to the Caribbean. On, mm -hmm. You wonder why? Let me just show y'all this real quick. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lives by the power of God. Hallelujah. How did you go through this and still make it? Mm. Everybody say, God kept me. God, God kept, kept me. me. Oh my God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Scripture says that no flesh shall glory in his presence. No flesh. Hallelujah. For we also who are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. Every time somebody come in your life, whether or not you work with them, you walk in in Walmart, don't matter. You're supposed to be walking in the power. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Why do hey, you think he said every place hey. the soul of your feet shut? Do we understand what this means? Yeah, yeah. That means that we got to know who we are. Yeah. No matter where we go. Yes. Yes. Yo, it's time out for 
the gospel to sound like it's just a popular thing that we do. We go to church and then we get used to going home and, and man, we, we sure had a good service, didn't we? My God. All right. Lord. I know who I am. I know who I am. Praise the Lord. But because we shall live with him by the power of God, here we go, y'all. Verse number five. Examine yourself. Yes. Whether you are actually in the field. Y'all not talking about what's popular. You have a lot of people that go to church. A lot of people with titles. Yeah, yeah. That tell that's just what you're supposed to do. I'm telling you, you better examine yourself. Come yeah, on. Right. It's not good enough to just say I'm a believer. It's not good yeah. enough to say I'm a Christian. It's Hallelujah. not good enough to say just because they bless their food. It's not good enough yeah. because they can quote John 3, 16 and 23rd yeah. Psalm and Psalm 27. That's not good enough. Come on. Yes. Not Hallelujah. for the sons of the king. Hallelujah. 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 These are the ones that the scripture says they love not their lives. Yes, Lord. Unto death. Hallelujah. 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 So God is looking for some sons that yes. he can use to provoke his people. Hallelujah. To shake them. Hallelujah. Man, won't you forget who you are? Do you remember the word that was spoken over you? Do you remember the word that was spoken over your child? Do you remember the promise? Don't you know that these things are going to come to test you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Psalm 105. I believe it's around verse 13 or 14. You don't have to turn that. He says they hurt him. Talking about Joseph. Yes, sir. Yes. He said they hurt his feet with fetters. Yeah, yeah. He said, touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. He said, but God called for a famine in the land. He broke the staff of bread. Come on. All of a sudden, things get hard on you. You're like, man, I can't make ends meet. It's so hard. Well, I need you to understand that if you're in a place where all of a sudden you're starting to suffer some type of lack. Uh -huh. yeah. I know somebody else that did that. His name was Joseph. Yeah. 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 And the scripture says that when they broke the staff of bread, they say he sent for a man, even Joseph. <laughs> Yo, sometimes sometime we're not supposed to complain like everybody else is complaining. Yeah. Uh -huh. When one person come out and say, man, we broke, it's not for us to turn around and say we broke. Yeah. Sometimes you got to walk around and say, okay, Lord, where? Where, yeah. where is yeah. it? Where? Yeah. Who? Hallelujah. Yes. If I'm here, there must be an assignment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like once the assignment is met, come on. the season will change. Jesus. Hallelujah. Examine yourselves yeah. whether you be in the faith. Yeah. Look what he says. Prove your own self. Sometimes we look for somebody to come tell us. Uh -huh. Oh, you're a man of God. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Prove it yourself. Yeah, uh -huh. say it. Say it. Uh -huh. Examine yourself. Yeah. What are you carrying? Yeah. Uh -huh. What kind of thoughts are you having in your mind? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes. What's on one of these mountains Hallelujah. that's captivating you? Hallelujah. We've been talking in his image about these seven mountains. Yes, sir. One of them is called a mountain of family. Y'all know this world is trying to redefine what family is. All right. Another mountain is religion. What is religion? That's what people choose to worship. Yeah. Mm. My God. Praise the Lord. Another mountain is government. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Entertainment, media. Yeah. And the scripture says, How beautiful ah, yes. are the feet of them that preach the gospel. Look what he says, upon the mountains. Hallelujah. That means that on these mountains, they got all these things that's popular. And God said, Where my sons at? Hallelujah. Oh, my sons. Come yes, sir. Come on. That's why he says in the book of Revelation 4 1. Come up here. Yes, Hallelujah. Sir. Stop trying to fix it while you're down there. Yes, sir. You won't see it right. Hallelujah. Even football coaches understand that you gotta be able to coach from the top of the box where they look down. Hey. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Examine yourselves, whether we be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Yeah. Don't look what he says. Know ye not your own. Don't you know yourself? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. How that Jesus Christ is in you. 
Everybody say Christ in me. Christ, Christ in, in me. me. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody say, everybody say Christ in me. Christ, Christ in me. me. Everybody say the hope of glory. The, the hope, hope of glory. glory. Oh my God, when you say you got Christ in you, man, that's, that's not nothing like, I promise you. Yes. The world makes it look like there's no power. The world makes it look like that's a white man's religion. Go find, go study in Ethiopia where it's the only country that was not colonized by the white man and why they still got the scripture going and they got everybody practicing everything and they're messianic Jews. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh right there in Ethiopia, but we don't know that. I said, no, you're not. Mm. Hallelujah. Your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you. Uh oh, what's that last point? Except what? He be reprobates. Reprobates. Don't y'all know when you go to college? I went to college, y'all, and you know, a couple of people tried to encourage me to join a fraternity. You know, and I don't have nothing, you know, I don't want to get into that too much. But people tried to get me to join, and last time I checked, when they get on the line, not when they accept it. When they're on the line, they're called probates. Mm. They are. Mm. But if they make it, Probate. if they make it, they're accepted. If they're rejected, they're called reprobates. Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. He says, examine yourself. My God. Whether you are in the faith, prove your own self. Know ye not your own selves that if Jesus is really in you, unless you're walking around like a reprobate. Oh my God. Verse number six. But I trust that you will know I'm not a reprobate. Show up at my house. Show up, follow, come tap me on my shoulder at Walmart. Hallelujah. Show up at the school. Show up, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Me and Apostle, we right across. I can't do anything and Apostle not say, Pastor, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we all have challenges. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't know who's watching you. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, and if we have the Holy Ghost, my, my, my. the scripture says that the eyes of the Lord yeah. Roam to and fro. Yeah. Everybody talking about the eye of Horus and getting in all this Egyptian stuff. I need you to understand that the eyes of the Lord roam to and fro yeah. Yeah. throughout the whole earth, saying, yeah. "Where my son? Yeah. 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 Where my daughters? Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord." He says in verse number seven, "Now I pray to God that you do no evil." Everybody asks to say, Lord, remove every desire for evil from me. Every desire. Every desire. Every desire. Every desire. You have people talking about, you ain't got to be perfect. God don't expect us to be perfect. You better stick with what the word says. Yes, sir. Yes. God is expecting us to be mature. Yes, sir. That's good. That's it. He says that we do no evil. Thank you, Lord. He says, not that we should appear approved or as if we've arrived, like we just yeah, yeah, yeah. become self-righteous. He said, not like that. Uh -huh. But that you should do what's honest, like yeah. you should have integrity. Yes. And when he says, though we be as reprobates, he's saying, I understand that sometimes in this process of learning, sometimes we fall. Yeah. 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 Sometimes we fail. Yeah. And we got to be bold enough to let people know. Don't you know somebody cannot mess up for so long yeah. that when they do mess up, they can't even confess it to nobody. My, my, my. Because they built up such an image that yeah. now yeah. they become self-righteous. Oh, my, my goodness. And now you become just like the son that stayed home. My, my. That didn't understand when the prodigal son came back. He's sitting up there mad. Yeah. But he looked like he didn't do nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. Mm -hmm. That's why the scripture says, confess your sins one to another. That you may pray. It's not about just when you commit a transgression. It's even when you're dealing with the iniquity. Sometimes you got to talk to you to those godly connections. You say, man, for some reason, I'm starting to think about stuff that's all on my mind, man. It's these lustful thoughts. You got to be able to have somebody you can talk to. And somebody yeah. that's going to hold you accountable and say, man, you got to do that. Yes, sir. See, that's why the Bible says, if there be any we among you, pray for them. Yes, yes, yes. 
Unless you yourself be tempted. Right? Yes, sir. Oh, Tell the person next to you, say, would you please hold me accountable? Would you would please you hold me accountable? Hold me accountable. Hold me accountable. I can't touch it. Hold me accountable. Yes, sir. This will be the only way. Hold me accountable, please. Hallelujah. Man, this is not... I'm not trying to be funny, but this ain't no pump gospel that we got. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This ain't no jelly bag gospel that we have. Yeah, my, my, my. Jesus. That's good. That's good. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Paul said, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. No, no. Mighty. Hallelujah. Strong. Yes. Causing another dimension to be made manifest. Ah, hallelujah. Yeah. Ah, hallelujah. Taking captive oh, yeah, yeah. every thought. Yeah. Everything that's trying to challenge what God promised me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Hallelujah. Lean not to your own yeah. understanding. Yeah. But in all of your ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every one of them, when you wake up in the morning, Father, I thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Talking to your friends on the phone, Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. 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 If I don't care how small it is, if you feel like you're struggling with something, you feel like you're falling, yeah. find the right person and confess it. Yeah. 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 Lord. That's the word. I'm serious, y'all. Right. Right. Who may ascend to the hill of the Lord? Hallelujah. The he that has clean hands. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 5 and 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall. Somebody telling you I don't see them. Check your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's powerful. Everybody that's full of the Holy Ghost, could everybody just stand to you? Let's just pray for a moment. Some of you just go ahead and begin to walk. Some of you just walk. You don't have to walk when you get home. Hey, get in the on the high up. I you will pour up a fire. Hallelujah. I'm buying every lying spirit. Hey, get in the old pour up a fire. Trying to make you doubt who you are. Hey, get in the old Niki on the high at the sea. Some of y'all gotta walk when you get to work tomorrow. Pull up a tie at the sea. Niki on the high at every place. Every place the soul of your feet is free. Niki on the high at the sea. Somebody go to the hospital and they flatline. They don't just give up quick. They grab a defibrillator. And they turn it on. And they say clear. And they give them a pulse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's people are walking defibrillators. Hallelujah. You will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. I still believe that word. I still believe the word. Job said, though you slay me, I will trust you. How can we accept good and not trust them when we get challenged? 
Hallelujah.